for joining us this morning. It's mad to think that we're sitting here on, on the beach in Miami talking to you. I think the last time we probably had a proper catch up, we were on home turf in, in Hickstead. So it, it's cool to be here. Jane, tell us how are the horses settling in? They've obviously come from Mexico. How are they settling in here in Miami? Yeah, they've settled in great. Um, they came over on Saturday and then they had two, day, two days in quarantine and um, in the stables, show stables. And um, then they got out for um, exercise uh, with the grooms on um, Tuesday. And then uh, Michael and I arrived over Tuesday night. We exercised them on um, Wednesday. And um, they were a little bit fresh. Uh, we rode them twice and um, they feel in great form. Every day they've been getting better. Um, and you know it's it's a unique show here. You're you're on the beach and uh, listening to the, the sea as we are now. And um, you know I was a little bit surprised in one way. I thought Ipswich might be a little bit tense, but actually he's taken to it super. Um, so you know horses do surprise us sometimes. Because anyone who would be kind of tuning into any of our Red Mills social media channels and the foreign channels would have seen, we saw photos of the horses getting onto the planes and making their first trip over to Mexico. They're incredibly resilient to come around the world like this and be able to perform at that level. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so a lot of these horses would have, just, I suppose they have more airline, air miles than uh, a lot of people. But um, um, And then the horses that wouldn't have flown before. Um, they've taken to it great, but I think the, the team who look after them and um, you know it's a great team of people and um, if any horse gets a little bit stressed or something like that, you have great experience people to um, address the situation and um, all the horses have arrived superbly and they're all performing at their, at their very best. Because we were chatting to Natty and, and Ben yesterday, I think we're going to catch up with them a little later on again, but like they were stayed with the horses when they were in Mexico before coming to Miami, is that right? Yeah, yeah, they've, they've um, yeah, and I think that's good for the horses too, they, they've uh, a face they know, and um, a very important thing for the horse as well is we feed red mills all the time, and um, you know, we've Mexico, Miami, Shanghai, and Red Mills is the feed that's over here for the horses, so there's no change in their diet, and I think that's that's crucial. Amazing. Michael, you had an incredible show in Mexico. Was that your first time to jump on part of the Longjean Global Champions Tour? Yeah, it was my first um, my first time on the Global League and the Global Tour, so it was a, it was a great start. Um, I hope it's... I hope everyone tells me it doesn't get any better, but I'm, hope, I'm hoping we can keep that level. And what's the team piece like? Is it obviously very different to jumping as an individual, or do you still have to focus on your own performance? Well, we all focus on our own performances because at the end of the day, it's, it's our results that count. But for me, team jumping is, is, a, is a really cool thing, and it's probably my favourite thing, be it Nations Cup or Global <coughs> League. I suppose the big difference here is every score counts. It's, it's, um, it's vitally important to... Uh, you know, to keep your keep your clear rounds and keep keep your time right because, you know, in the Nations Cup you can drop a score whereas here you don't have that luxury. So um, it's 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 quite it's quite tough and and, and really really uh, it's, it's good sport I must say. I heard that the atmosphere in Mexico was unbelievable. They have a good crowd. The the kind of the home crowd get behind and a good atmosphere in that big. It was a big huge grass ring here versus a smaller sand ring in, in here in Miami. What was it like to jump in that big ring in Mexico? Yeah, it was brilliant. I must say my horse, um, top contender, is made for those big, big rings. He grew up in the county circuit in England through the newcomers and the red and the fox hunters. So he's, he's, he's really good in those grass rings and he really felt at home there, which was, uh, which was good for me. Um, but he, uh, equally, he came here, he jumped a great round yesterday. We were unlucky to have the last fence down there. So, um, but, but crowd-wise, it was phenomenal. Um, especially when the Mexican riders came in, they really get behind them and and they, they were cheering and shouting, so it was, it was, it was a cool, cool thing to see, for sure. Yeah. Um, back to you, like, how do you manage your own sort of preparation? Obviously, we're, we're, the horses are, are flying, they're well looked after, we know the kind of the systems. For you guys, that's a lot of back and forth, and you spent a good chunk of time in Dubai as well this year. Do you find you just stay in your own routine, and same show, same routine, or just things change? Um, I think, uh, you know, there, there is quite a time difference um, in some of countries we're going to but um, you get out there in time so you have you, you make your adjustment and um, and then you try and stick in the same routine at the shows um, go to the gym but it's quite nice here you don't have to go for the, to the gym you can jog on the beach and uh, it's yeah it's glorious <laughs> it's, a, it's a good excuse for you to get out 
And tell me, Michael, what's on the agenda today? What classes have you got coming up? I'm going to jump my uh, my second horse here, Jewel Vanden Tinnenbot. Um, she's a little firecracker, as we call her. She's a she's a sweetheart. So she's going to jump the. I'm going to jump like a schooling type round in the meter forty five, just because she's had a few quick rounds lately. And then I'm going to aim her at the big class tonight, the jump off class. Um, it'll be a, a nice a nice test for her. But um, she jumped a couple of big classes before and handled them really well. And Super. she's a real uh, she's a real yard favourite or a stable favourite. So. Well, I think she's one of our favourites as well. We, we saw you this morning exercising. If anyone's looking at our Instagram page, there's a beautiful picture of her looking at the, at the sunrise yeah. coming up this morning. She seems to be taking it all in. Luckily, she's quite photogenic anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Shane? What have you got today? Um, I'll jump the Vendy Cruise in the 145 uh, speed, and then I'm going to jump Ipswich in the jump off class tonight. And, um, yeah. Plan for That's today. the plan for this evening. Well, guys, thanks a million for joining us. We wish you the best of luck today and onwards and for the rest of the season. Thanks a million. Thanks, thank you very much.